بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم رب شهر رمضان الذي أنزلت فيه القرآن Again with a new episode and new discussion of the Quran and science In the previous sessions we discussed more about the Quran and science and how Quran as much as the science is being developed still Quran is alive Quran has more teaching and Quran is inspiring the scientists dear brothers and sisters when we refer to Quran we see many verses of Quran encouraging the Muslims to reflect on that Many verses of Quran encourage human being, please, please think in the verses of the Quran. Don't close your um, mind and your eyes just to obey the Quran. Think on the verses of the Quran. As much as you think on the Quran, you understand Quran well and you obey its teaching more than before. The difference between Islam and other religions is that Islam encourages human being to think and to be more educated. As much as you are more educated, you, you, are, you have ability of thinking and reflecting. So it makes you able to think on Quran. That's why Prophet Muhammad was encouraging people, please learn, please be educated. Please be well learned of the Quran. Please memorize the Quran. Don't uh, think that that is the holy book, that is the sacred teachings. Just close your mind, obey it. It, it wasn't so. Prophet encouraged human being to think on Quran. Many verses of Quran regarding Quran and science. I would like in this episode to highlight that instead of closing the eyes of the human being and pursuing them just to obey the Quran, Quran encourages them. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam encouraged the human being to think on Quran. Many verses of Quran encourage us why you're not thinking. Quran says that la yafkahuna biha. Many of the people they have the mind and heart, but they are not thinking. There is one verse in Quran says that those who know, those who yalamun, they are aware, they have knowledge. They are not similar and they are not in a position that to be compared with the people they have no knowledge. Quran encourages his audiences to be learned, to be educated. Quran encourages his audiences to be developed in science. If it is so, how we can say that science is against the Quran? And Quran is against the science. Actually, there are two wings to promote the human being toward the guidance and enlightening. Next session, we will discuss more about the Quran and science. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.